Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you tonight. A night of redemption. A night of total redemption. A night of supernatural redemption. Lord, I pray you bring that redemption to every life tonight in Jesus' name. I pray that nobody here tonight will go back the same way they came. You perform your miracle in every heart, every soul, and every spirit. And Lord, we pray, whatever the challenge, you take those challenges away tonight in Jesus' name. And we pray, Lord, as you did in days gone by, you'll do today. Fill every heart with joy, great joy, that will go back home with great things you have done in the life of everyone. Confirm it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. I'm looking at Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35. I'm reading from verse 3. I'm reading all the way to verse 8. Strengthen ye the weak hands. Confirm the feeble knees. Tonight, strength will come into your life. Everything that is weak and feeble, the power of heaven will come tonight. Roll everything away in Jesus' name. In verse 4, say to them that have a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Whatever has been driving you, whatever has been frightening you, whatever has been oppressing your life i come to tell you tonight tonight is the night of your redemption night of salvation night of freedom is coming your way behold your god will come with vengeance even god with the recompense and he will come and save you he will come and save you. Salvation in all its ramifications. And then he tells us in verse 5. Then the eyes of the blind shall be open, And the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart. And the tongue of the dumb shall sing. For in the wilderness shall the waters break out and streams in the desert and the patch ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water in the habitation of dragons where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes and an highway shall be there. And highway shall be there. I said, and highway shall be there. As you look at those verses I've read to you, it talks about redemption. How? It says, one, there'll be salvation. That's part of redemption. It says, every feebleness and weakness in your life, everything will vanish away. That's part of the redemption. It says, if you are weak, Tonight, you're going to become strong. You're feeble, you're going to become energized. And it says, if you're fearful, powers in this world, authorities in this world, something coming from any direction you cannot tell, and it's oppressing your life, destroying your life, operating in your life against your progress, it says tonight, he will set you free. Then he says, Be strong and fear not that you should come to God tonight with a strong confidence in God, strong faith in God. Know Him. This is what God said He will do. He will not fail in your life tonight. He will rebuke the enemy. 
rebuke the operators of evil in your life in your family in your business everywhere around you tonight in jesus name he will come he'll come to you right there i said they will come to you right there and deliver you and save you and forgive you and set you free and break every yoke in your life praise the lord tonight is the night of your testimony and the eyes of the blind shall be opened get ready there we've seen many people that were blind in fact some were born blind as we mentioned the name of jesus their eyes got open it's your turn tonight if you're blind tonight when we pray at the end of the message and you hear the name that wonder walking name the name of jesus blindness will vanish away and the ears of the deaf shall be restored those who are deaf you begin to hear those who are dumb you begin to speak and then it says then shall the lame man leap as an heart you're in a wheelchair i welcome you tonight and i welcome the power of god in your life and i'm praying for you and i pray that after this message you'll get out of that wheelchair you came in crutches you throw the crutches away because the lord is going to give you total redemption and total healing it will set you free then it says the tongue of the dumb shall sing and now he tells us this is at the end of the road at the end of the highway and then he tells us for you to get it there is an highway that's why it says in verse 8 and highway shall be there and highway shall be there and the way it shall be called the way of holiness and the unclean shall not pass over it and it shall be for those with fearing men do fools shall not hear therein the lord is telling us tonight there's a way to redemption a way made by the lord jesus christ for your salvation a way for you to get total deliverance and this is the highway we're talking about tonight i'm talking to you tonight on the highway to supernatural and total redemption the highway to supernatural and total redemption that's why it says in that verse 8 and highway shall be there christ has come and christ has provided for everything you need your salvation is available your healing is available and your deliverance is available everything you need is available through the sacrifice of jesus christ and through the suffering of jesus christ on the cross of calvary but he says there's a way you will take a road you will take there is a path he has outlined and there is that highway and as you take that highway tonight you'll be a recipient a receiver a possessor of the miracle power of god in jesus name i'm going to talk on three milestones in this highway milestones you know the highway you know the expressway and sometimes if you look at the side of the road you see that milestone there another milestone there another milestone there and eventually you know when you are getting near because of the milestone on the side of the highway number one the highway of repentance to salvation the highway of repentance unto salvation if there's anything we can talk about redemption the very foundation of that redemption that salvation the central part of that redemption that salvation the evidence of that redemption that salvation and it gives you that salvation 
as to take the highway, the highway of repentance. Come to Isaiah chapter 35 again. It tells us in that chapter 35, verse 8, and a highway shall be there. Here is what the Lord Himself is telling us that if you want salvation, you cannot say, I don't know the way. It's like you want to go from one city to the other. And there's a road that leads you to the city you want to get to. There is an expressway that leads you to the city you want to go. And you know the expressway. You know the highway. Anyone that wants to get there can get on that road. There's no restriction. And there is no partiality. And there is no sectionalism. You want to get to that desired or desirable city. That's the highway. You get there. A child can take that highway. A man can take that highway. A woman can take that highway. Whoever you are, you can take that highway. And get to that desirable city. The same thing. The city of God. The same thing. The blessing of God. The same thing. The salvation of God. There's a way that gets us there. And this is for everyone. For the man. For the woman. For the high. And for the low. For the educated. And for the illiterate. And by the way. It's the same highway that leads to salvation. It's not one highway for this man, another highway for this other man, one highway for this woman, another highway for that other woman. The same highway that leads to salvation. What salvation? We lost the image of God. We lost the righteousness of God. We lost the favor of God. We lost the nature of God. When Adam and Eve fell into sin. But now, he said, the Almighty God sent Jesus Christ. So that he can bring us back from the place we fell. And bring us back to that image. Bring us back to that same level that he created a righteousness and impurity and a life that is acceptable in the sight of the Lord. He wants to take away our sins, the effect of the fall of man. He wants to take away the effect of all that we have gone through in the fall of man because our sins separate us from god that's why christ has come he becomes our savior tonight you'll be your savior i'm talking to somebody there tonight where are you he'll be your savior tonight in jesus name but you must come on the highway the highway that leads to that salvation. The highway that leads to that freedom. The highway that leads to that redemption. Total forgiveness. Total freedom. And there you have relationship, reconciliation with God. Isaiah chapter 59. Verse 1, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither is ear heavy, that it cannot hear, but your iniquities, that's another word for the uncleanness, but your iniquities, that's another word for that defilement. But your iniquities, your wrongdoing, 
but your iniquities, your evil, bad character have separated between you and your God and your sins that's clear now and your sins the works of darkness and your sins Satan's nature in man and your sins the disobedience against the word of the Lord and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear that he will not answer your petition he will not allow you to get on that highway that leads to that final destination salvation he says but your hands are defiled with blood you understand that and your fingers with iniquity stealing that's part of that abortion that's part of that evil dead defilement that's part of that the things we do that makes us feel guilty in our conscience we feel bad you did that thing and your conscience told you uh -uh, how could you do that how could you say that he wants repentance he wants you to come and come to the lord and say lord i am sorry about this and you're sorry not to quit tonight somebody there is repenting i said tonight somebody there is repenting because you know you cannot have salvation just by saying i want salvation i want salvation there must be repentance look at isaiah chapter 1 verse 16 isaiah 1 verse 16 wash you and make you clean what's that look at uncleanness in your life wash you and make you clean look at lying in your life wash you and make you clean look at stealing wash you and make you clean look at fornication look at adultery wash you and make you clean look at fighting look at violence wash you and make you clean look at occultism in your life powers of darkness you forsake them wash you make you clean put away you see that that's repentance put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes it says i see you everywhere i know what you do i know your lifestyle i know the things that are done in secret the things you think other people do not know i know everything and it says but i want to save you if you're going to have that salvation and you're going to come on this highway the highway of repentance it says you will put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes cease to do evil go to church but cease to do evil read your bible but cease to do evil fellowship with the people of god but cease to do evil that's the repentance and it says learn to do well turn around make a change make up your mind that says christ is here today and he wants to save you he wants to change your life he wants to redeem you he wants to cleanse you it says your life after you make a decision you're following the lord must be different from what you were before you came come now and let us reason together says the lord do your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow and though they be red like crimson they shall be as wool and tonight will be your night of salvation 
Tonight will be your night of cleansing and your night of redemption. The night of a new life that you come to the Lord and He takes hold of you after you've confessed your sins and you abandon all those sins. Say, Lord, wash me and make me clean. Lord, turn my life around. I'm not happy the way I am. I want the salvation of the Lord. It's that salvation that takes you to heaven. And it says, If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Somebody there give me a good amen. amen. As you turn from your sin today and say, Lord, here am I. In your heart, in your life, in your disposition, in your attitude and your behavior grant unto me today that salvation will come and that righteousness will be evident in your life it will happen somebody there said it will happen we come back now to isaiah chapter 35 and i'm reading here from verse 3 the highway of recovery from all sicknesses somebody there is getting healed tonight what is the person i'm talking to there is coming your way tonight in jesus name the highway of recovery from all sicknesses i said chapter 35 i'm reading from verse 3 Strengthen ye the weak hands. Confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold your God. Look away from idols. Behold your God. Look away from uh, your life behold your god look away from all that talisman all that occultism look away from all those things people have given you if you chew this if you lick this if you swallow this look away from that behold your god will come is coming tonight i said it's coming tonight and then he says with a revenge with a vengeance it's going to break the power of satan away from your life thank god he can and thank god he will and then he says he will come and save you he will come and heal you he will come and set you free he will come and recover you he will whatever may be the challenge you have tonight is the night of his power give me a good amen over there then the eyes of the blind shall be opened you've been blind maybe you are blind even from birth it says the eyes of the blind will be opened or maybe there was an accident and then you became blind tonight the lord will take that blindness away they call it cataract they call it glaucoma they call it whatever name tonight god is able and god will he'll take all the darkness away from your sight and then it says and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped those who are deaf you are deaf and dumb tonight is total recovery and then you should be having confidence in the lord now you repent of your sin you turn away from the evil you have been serving satan you say god i'm blind i want you to open my eyes when you open my eyes i will use my sight to serve you you don't want God to heal you and then give you more strength and more energy to go and serve the devil. I will not serve Satan anymore. I will not serve the parts of darkness anymore. I come 
give me healing. I will use the strength and the health to serve you. And then the Lord tonight, he will heal you. He'll deliver you. You'll never be the same again. In verse 6, then the lame man shall leap as an heart. You're in a wheelchair. The mighty name of Jesus is coming to you tonight. And that name will raise you up from that wheelchair. And the tongue of the dumb shall sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. All those dry places. They become refreshed tonight. Isaiah chapter 53. I'm reading from verse 4. It says, Surely, certainly, without any shadow of doubt, because God is God, surely, because God cannot fail, surely, because Calvary has paid the price surely because the name of jesus cannot fail surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him smitten of god afflicted your punishment was laid on him once you repent, once you turn away from your sin, once you say darkness is of the past, and Jesus, the light of the world, will be the light of my life, that Satan had come to ruin your life, but you abandon Satan and you come to Jesus, the Savior, then he says, He will take all those infirmities away. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He, Christ. He, the Lord. He, the Savior. He was wounded for our transgression. That's why repentance is necessary. If because of your stealing, he was wounded. If you understand that, if you go on stealing, you're wounding him again. But if you realize, because of your lying, because of your deception, because of your evil, because of your bad character, he was wounded. You will not want to continue in that bad character anymore you want to say lord i surrender lord i stop it lord i repent and i come to you repenting forsaking every sin that has brought wounding unto you it's only then his salvation his healing will come to you he was bruised for iniquities if you realize the bruising came upon him because of your iniquity if you understand that iniquity will not just keep on flowing in your life say lord i'm sorry you leave all that iniquity and then you believe on the lord and then salvation will come and healing will come the chastisement of our peace was upon him he suffered and you're not wanting to keep on suffering emotionally now because everything he died for you see continuing them no you will not continue you stop you turn around you repent you call upon the lord and then your healing will come and with his stripes we are healed you'll be healed tonight because you repent tonight I said, you will repent tonight. I can't hear my people. You will repent tonight. And then you will recover tonight. He'll give you salvation. He'll give you healing as well. In Jesus' name. Number one, the highway of repentance. 
you must repent and thank God you are going to repent. And that's what leads to salvation. There's no salvation without repentance. Number two, the highway of recovery from all sicknesses. Number three now, the highway of retaining the supernatural, the supernatural power of God will touch you tonight. It will save your soul. It will heal your body. But then, how do you retain? How do you keep? How do you hold on to? How do you preserve that supernatural thing the Lord wants to do in your life today? Look at John chapter 5. John chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 14. John chapter 5, verse 14. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple. Thank God. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple. You know, this man had just been healed. For 38 years, he had been by the pool. It was helpless and hopeless. And Jesus came to him and healed him. Some people will say, I missed the bar. All these many years. I missed the nightclub. All these many years. I missed the shrine. The shrine of idol worship. All these many years. Now I want to go there. But you know, the man was healed. And afterward, Jesus found him in the temple. After this day, we will not find you in the beer parlor. We will not find you under the bridge where people who are just rascals know a change is coming. We will not find you in the shrine of an idol. We will not find you in a strange place with people that are doing evil. Things are going to change. I say things are going to change. When you come to Christ, when you leave your darkness, and you come to Jesus, the light of the world, light shines in your heart. Light shines on your behavior. Light shines on your life. Light shines on your action. And then all the places of darkness, you'll not be there anymore. All the places they're killing and destroying life, you'll not be there anymore. All the places they're messing up their lives, you'll not be there anymore. That's how to retain the salvation he gives you. That's how to retain the deliverance he gives you. That's how to retain the supernatural power is giving you. And tonight, you make up your mind. I come out of my wickedness, I will not go back there. I come out of my defilement, I will not go back there. I come out of those evil places, and I will not go back there. You will not go back there in Jesus' name. Look at that verse 14 again. Afterward. What does that mean afterward? After he encountered Jesus as Savior and Lord. After he encountered Jesus as the deliverer and the healer. After he encountered Jesus Christ as the miracle worker. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, Thou art made whole. You'll be made whole tonight. Somebody there said you'll be made whole tonight. The moment you say, yes, Lord, I surrender. I surrender my life. I surrender my heart. Every sin of God, I come now and I confess my sin and I forsake them. I forsake them. I forsake them. I will not go the way of evil anymore. Everlasting joy will come to you today salvation will come to you today and then deliverance will come to you today you'll be able to say praise the lord i called upon him 
I was saved. And from this moment, your life will never be the same again. Give me a good amen. As bowed and as closed, the Lord wants to do that in your life right now. He wants to forgive, but you must repent. He wants to save you, but you must repent. He wants to write your name in the book of life so you can get to heaven, but you must repent. He wants to bring his grace into your life, but you must repent. He wants to manifest his power to set you free, but you must repent. It's bowed and eyes closed. He wants you to come to him. He wants you to turn away from your sin and to say, Lord, from today, I will not continue in those bad things anymore. I need a transformation in my life. I don't want to continue in my sin, but I don't have the power to live a new life. But I want you to grant me the grace to have that new life. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. Say, yes, Lord, I repent. Yes, Lord, I turn away from my sin. You are raising up your hand, you are standing up. While you are standing up, open your mouth and tell the Lord. And say, Lord, I'm sorry for the evil things I've done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Keep on standing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you have called your people out of sin, out of darkness, out of evil, out of prostitution, out of fornication, out of adultery out of iniquity and have responded unto you confessing and forsaking their sins lord i pray forgive them in jesus name i pray that according to your promise you write their names in the book of life in heaven and i pray the grace to live in newness of life you grant unto them even from this day in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Give me another amen. Somebody shout redemption. Shout it aloud. Total redemption supernatural redemption instantaneous redemption my own personal redemption stand up and catch it it's coming your way the power of god is coming your way that healing is coming your way hey look at that blind man your blind eyes will open tonight in jesus name you're in a wheelchair get ready get ready when you hear that name the name of jesus it never fails it comes on you right there with power with anointing and with authority and that mighty name will set you free tonight somebody shout amen you have swelling your body get ready it will vanish away you brought anybody deaf and dumb get ready after the final amen you check up on them they will hear they will speak whatever infirmity whatever mountain might be there every scene will vanish away and go away right now at the mention of the name of jesus you want a miracle you raise up your hand you need healing you raise up your hand there's a challenge you want the Lord to deal with instantaneously tonight. You raise up your hand. You lay your hand in the other place where you have the challenge. And when you hear the final, final amen, you must check up. 
you have a testimony tonight father in jesus name i thank you lord for the highway thank you lord for the expressway that leads to the supernatural i thank you because you have told us to leave things that are not worth hanging on and we pray lord as we abandon as we reject as we jettison every sin of the past and now we're looking at jesus as savior our lord a redeemer a miracle worker and a great physician the healer lord i pray you touch your people tonight in jesus name every power of satan i break in their lives tonight in jesus name and the power of darkness i subdue in every life tonight in jesus name and whatever the cause and whatever the yoke that the devil has used in tying them down i command you satan come out in jesus name and i pray lord the healing virtue of christ that flows without any hindrance let it flow to everyone right now and touch them from the top of the air to the tip of the tomb. That Lord, your miracle working power will manifest in every life, even now in Jesus' name. That evil spirit of madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. That spirit of curse and yoke and poison and spell, I command you, Come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any swelling in their body. Whatever may be the cause of the swelling. Or how long the swelling has been. I command that swelling. Come out in Jesus' name. Any incurable disease. You've been to hospital. You've been to traditional people. You've been everywhere. And you're still sick. This is your night of healing. I command that incurable disease come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have cancer. I command that cancer right now dry up. Be healed in Jesus' name. The pile be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcer be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, whatever is swollen in that belly, that fiber, that tumor, I command, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have those uh, things in the body as if they're using pain to uh, hurt your body everywhere. I command that demonic torment, stop right now, be removed in Jesus' name. All the mountains of problems that the people have brought. Lord, I pray, remove that mountain. Change everything. Relieve them and heal them right now. Search the people free in Jesus' name. I'm asking, Lord, for those who are blind, that bandage of the devil, I remove it right now in Jesus' name. Cataract glaucoma, come out in Jesus' name deepness of sight be removed in jesus name that spirit of blindness and deepness i command you come out in jesus name those who are deaf and dumb i pray the lord will touch those ears right now and touch those tongues right now be loose and be free begin to hear and begin to speak receive your miracle in jesus name I pray, Lord, for those who have one leg shorter than the other. And I command that short leg, grow out right now in Jesus' name. Broken bones, be mended right now in Jesus' name. Paralysis, go out now in Jesus' name. And those who are wheelchair, those who are crutches, I send for the power of the name of Jesus unto you right now. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong rise up and walk in jesus name lord i pray for everyone every yoke broken every work of the devil destroyed healing flowing to them now 
power flowing to them now. Authority that breaks every yoke flowing to them right now. You're free. You're healed. You're loosed. You're delivered. Lord, confirm it in every life. I thank you because I know it's done. I know it's done. I know it's done. In Jesus' name I pray.